Show the helmet. Yeah, baby. That's so sick. Can I parry that? No way. <laughs> no way, bro. No way, dude. No way, chat. Oh god, I don't even know where we left off, dude. This is about to be interesting. It's been so long. Oh my god. How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. And what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The king could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. I love his voice. You underestimate yourself. Big bro. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just, I have never felt so powerless. And when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... No, perhaps the prince feels the same. Where is he? Cut to him. Yo. No. Please? Dion? 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 Please! Nameless slum. Guys, where's Dion? <gasps> the lad! Yo! Yo! Oh my god, this was behind that door the whole last stream chat. We could have gotten a cutscene of Dion. God dang it. What is this place? What is this place? <gasps> the medicine girl. Oh my god. Don't move. Oh my god. The medicine girl. <laughs> Let's go. My favorite character, top five characters in this game. Medicine girl in every set piece. Oh, look at his sword. It's fresh from the well. That music, though. I love this game. I love that this game is not afraid to be like quiet. Grandmother told times. me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. <laughs> I set one on the river for her when she passed away. A lot of the people that are dead is because of him, too. Well, he was kind of used, right? But the fiend works from the shadows. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? Yep. That was the one. No, not you. This is my doing. No. My fault. No. My sin to bear. No. No, it isn't. Sweet child, no, no, no. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them, or try to. 
earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. He's so sweet, chat. <sighs> like, he's so nice. Like, I never expected that... That he'd be, like, kind of on our side in some ways, you know, in this game. You're going, then. Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? That's really cute. That's really cute. He's kind of got like the Aquaman vibe right now. I don't know why. Like just the water and he's got this sort of trident looking, you know, spear. Isn't Aquaman in comics blonde as well? Or am I wrong? Well, Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Damn. I love that. That was such a good scene. That was great. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Oh, man. Then neither do I. Oh, God. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. If Tarya says Tell take your medicine, already, do it. Hey! How long will it take us to get back to Ash? I don't know, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. Back to Ash and we I go. I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor, I'll go and tell you coming. While you're plotting our cause, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. I have many thoughts. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. Bro. I have A, I don't want this game to end and I feel like going to Willowed is like or however you say it is that feels like finale to me you know that feels very finale vibes um, but also something I was going to point out is I love that this game even at like how many hours am I in? 65 hours into the game the game is like, it, it makes like an effort to try to connect the NPCs to the world. Like, I love that the main characters are like, oh, we need to go stock up. Let, I'm going to go talk to Karen. Okay, uh, I need to freshen up on the lore of Ultima. Okay, I'm going to go talk to, uh, you know, Vivian or, you know, not Vivian. It would be uh, Hippocrates, right? Like, I'm going to go talk to Hippocrates and, and freshen up my book smarts we need to know what we're facing like and i like it they're actual real people and it's not just hey i have to go rest up it's like no no they actually apparently want to go talk to the other people at the hideaway and it just makes it feel more alive you've seen more of the world these past five years than most do in a lifetime it's a shame you never had a moment to enjoy it literally me dude me okay ah clive I was wondering when you'd arrive. Can just use Shiva? Please tell me I don't come to think so, not in the same way. Prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. <laughs> I need information on her. I'm not here for mid. I need that as a then voice line. Why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <laughs> Go oh, on. man. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a shit blown to shit and splinters. <laughs> if it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? 
Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. God dang it. Wulud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters. <laughs> All no right. Splinters. All right. <laughs> if it will get you out of my hair. Well, let's get so good. It is. But interrupt me and it's over. Understood? Oh, here we go. I love these. Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the last king. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. Barely a man. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea, tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843. What year is it now? And that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later. 40 years. Quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. Oh my god. The Einherjar was committed to the fray. A bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the They have become animal, one with the right. zombie. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set that's foot That's gotta be terrifying for the people of this Much entire of the world. has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. Look at the blight just overtaking everything. to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. <laughs> now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. <laughs> Look at Clive walking. <laughs> Dude, I love it. I love you the scenes. Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right, bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. It's so... If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn. Hey. Probably more visits. Mid, okay. I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch oh my God. the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Dude, you scare me so bad. Like, I literally thought there was like a demon behind me. There is. There Clive, go. you must listen to this. Lorsman, tell him. Tell me. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. Tell and me. what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of his grace. What? You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. Yes. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find a more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. A mural? Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins. And though its popularity eventually waned on Storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded 
in more modern faiths such as the crystalline orthodox wait you said it waned on storm uh -huh. lost and found thank you what so much I? Thank you so much. Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And will load? And so, you see now why I must yes. accompany you to Walud. Okay, or Walud, sorry. It would appear the past has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles His all old along. Mentor. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. Oh, God. Oh, God, chat's happening. It's happening. It's freaking happening. Have you ever heard the, the tragedy of Dark Plague is the wise? Borrow the chronicles for a short while. God dang. Of course, Lawsman Hippocrates. Maybe you need to ask. Maybe I the Enterprise next. No, she didn't. She said I could. <laughs> Cutscene time. Everybody, everybody put your thinking cap on. Nerge. My apologies. You're fine. I'm just glad you're, you're still alive. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details. Only the important ones. Man. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. Southwest. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I. Oh, that's interesting. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav. <laughs> do you know of any? <laughs> you bet your ass I do. <laughs> Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though, <laughs> just in case. Like, once you've dropped us off at the Shadow <laughs> Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. Love it. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name, but like hell, am I leaving anyone behind? The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. <laughs> Jill. <laughs> The Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. My God. You'll be needing passage home, after all. I love her so much. But... Like, I'm so sorry, Amy. I'm so sorry. Well. Like, I... If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Like, I just love that, like... Clive and Jill like actually like kissed. Like Let I just me know that. when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. Okay, Otto. All right. Okay, here we go, chat. All right, focus time. <sighs> Probably not gonna have too many more cutscenes in this game, so gotta enjoy it. I like that it's me and Joshua as well, and Gav. The boys. Torgal included. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead. See if I can't find us an inland route. Okay. That worries me. I don't know why. Just worries me, chat. Just worries me. Just just a little bit. It worries me a little bit. Clive. Hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. <gasps> Whoa! Yo, what? 
Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. That's kind of true. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. Then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. I think I found us a trail. <laughs> uh, did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> Only that Joshua didn't. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Oh, intense scene, but also weirdly like charming in some way because it's very much like a brotherly thing. I think there's a lot of concern of like Clive taking on the hero's journey on his on his himself, right? Always wanted to visit Ash, which is totally understandable why Joshua now. doesn't want that to happen. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. <laughs> Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? <laughs> wow, this music sounds like Zelda. I'm getting huge Zelda vibes for some reason. Not a complaint. This is amazing. It truly feels like something that I would listen to like at night, like when I want just some calming music just to make me feel feel at peace. Oh my God. Holy. Has the whole of Ash fallen into Ultima's hands? Probably. No peace delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Esther Slaver and monsters. <sighs> I really feel like Gav's gonna die, and I'm gonna be sad. Clive, I don't know why. You must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. Wait, what? It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Yo, sure. 
Yeah. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, remember when we thought you were dead for like 15 years? You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own? Of course. Mostly. I think they're gonna, I think they're about to kill Gav. Like, I'm actually really scared. Like, I think they're tripping us out, making us think something's gonna happen with Joshua. It's like, oh, well, he's going out on his own. But really, it's Gav. I, like, I'm really scared right now. Completely abandoned. What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Damn it. We're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. <laughs> No quarter, Gav. No quarter. Ah! Let's go, baby. Take them all out, chat. I don't want to die here, Clive. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> then don't. <laughs> then don't, bro. Just live, idiot. Oh my God, that moves crazy. That's insane. What else? Axe guy? How did I call that? Bye bye. Get frozen again. I played that so well. Oh my god, chat. I pl I played that so well. It was so clean. Like so many counters, so many parries with Shiva. Garuda! Vusoda! Heavy breathing. Gav. Gav, don't let your guard down. Gav! Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Barnabas? Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh, God. Oh! Daddy's here. Come to <laughs> Daddy's here. Oh, Bound God. for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this! A jewel containing the ultimate power. <laughs> oh my lord, oh my god. Is he summoning Lilith? What is this, like, Diablo? What's happening? Oh my god! Like... Wow. That looks so cool. Like, I love the colors. It looks very like, like cyberpunky colors for some, for some reason. That's so cool. What did you do? Giant shield. I'm guessing. <laughs> We're playing Fortnite now. Yo, battle royale. <laughs> if the vessel would see the path opened, it has but to ask. I shall see that my master's prize is made. 
Presentable. Don't don't talk to us like we're a piece of meat. Oh my god. What what just happened? What was that move? Uh Clive. Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm literally gab sometimes, man. I really am. Oh my god. That's so funny. I don't know what he what that was either. Those birds are gonna die. Yeah, literally immediately I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? <laughs> it's like Halo 3, you gotta take down the three towers. We seek an audience with the king. If his majesty wants me to come and ask him. And that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition. We don't even know where the fucker went. <laughs> How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? <laughs> I'm Maybe very worried about Gav. Can use. I, they're giving us a lot of time with Gav here, and it's making me like love him even more. And I'm just like, they're about to take him away. I just know it. I know it. I know it, chat. No spoilers in the chat, please. I don't know for sure, but God. I'm worried. Hello? Now who the hell... Who are you? <laughs> Aerith? What's, what's, what's going on? Uh, miss. Oh my gosh, Whoa. she kinda looks like Aerith. Easy, easy. Like We're what? We're not turned, all right? <laughs> she kinda does look like Aerith. Whoa, she kinda looks like Aerith. Who is this? Who are you? Torgo watch. My thanks, kind travelers. Forgive me for asking. Edda? Her name's Edda? What went on here? It all started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Ark. One by one, people went mad. Minds taken by the ether. Till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came. The music. And I didn't know what to do. And this. Okay, is just a story, something our grandparents told us when we misbehave, about how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath. Might be a true story. The end of the world. You said the others went mad, but where did they go? They, the music. They all left. The motif in the music right now. The one east to the tower. They went to the tower to the east? The reverie. The elders. The healer. The blacksmith. 
my husband. Oh, she is. She's pregnant. I had a feeling she was, but. You thinking he did this? Of course. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. Then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? <laughs> God dang it, Gav. Don't say that out loud right the now. Maybe perhaps. Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. That's interesting. You mean it's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. What if the baby was a dominant? Can you imagine? And that's how why she's immune? Like, it's not just a bear, but a dominant. This it's tower. some new incarnation of somebody or something. That's that'd be where we'll find the king. That'd be crazy. Be absolutely nuts. Dude, what? Meanwhile. I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means at the end of these stairs should be the Easter egg. Oh boy. When you have a slow, dramatic opening of a door, anything could happen, man. Oh god, chat. I don't know what to... <gasps> Is a mural again. Yo. Yo. The mural... It's complete. Oh! Write that down, write that down! Ultima and his vessel, Ifrit. Garuda, Ramu. Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin, even Leviathan the Lost. Oh! But oh! Where is the Phoenix? Leviathan is on here! Where? Founder. What does that mean, though? Are they, like, meant to join together or something? I... Dude, what's going on? Oh, my God. So that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, so, all right, what I'm guessing, right? Don't tell me, chat. But, but I'm guessing, like, we already saw in the Bahamut fight, we saw Clive and Joshua sort of, like, weld themselves together in the fight and become, like, a Power Ranger mega thing, right? Like, we saw that. That was sick. Clive is supposed to be a vessel for Ultima. They keep saying that the whole game. I'm wondering if Clive and Joshua in the sort of grander scheme of things is seen as like one in the same. Like they're supposed to be combined. There's like, you know, I don't know. I'm just thinking of like maybe it was supposed to be only one originally. But somehow they had two brothers and then the two brothers represent what that like ultimate life form is. I don't know. That's a guess. It's something like that. The RK is the dark ill omen skies unleashed. The word RK is used only on Ash, or the coming of the cursed skies has long been foretold as a harbinger of the end of all things. I love that they have like folklore about this stuff. That's really cool. Oh my god, dude. I'm I'm so curious. So that's how it's gonna be then. Wait, hold on though. Hold on. They just dropped that Leviathan is a thing. 
They just dropped that. Leviathan the Lost. How many times have I talked about this in this playthrough where I'm like, dude, I swear to God, Leviathan's on the freaking thing. And like, because I remember seeing like trailers of the mural and whatnot. I was like, I think Leviathan's on it. And I was like, I feel like somebody's going to randomly reveal, be revealed to be Leviathan. But apparently Leviathan's just lost. Huh? I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. Poor Edda. What? I must do this alone. Oh, here we go. If I don't return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? <sighs> oh, man. I. <sighs> oh. Gav, please be okay. Just don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. <sighs> man. I keep saying man a bunch to the stream. <laughs> man! <laughs> What a set piece. This is it, boy. Yeah. Nice pan of the camera. <sighs> Looks so hellish. I've come for you, Barnabas. But where's Joshua? Stay close, Torgo. Help us all. Wait, what? Oh, that was creepy. The last king. The tower. It's alive. Yo. The music. It sounds so sci-fi. What? Oh, uh, here's Fallen. Yeah, I see him. More echoes of the fallen. They seem to be on ether. They should be in here. The music. This is trippy. <laughs> what is happening, guys? <laughs> what? What? This is so ignition. Oh, 
chat, did y'all see that absolute chaos? Deep, thank you so much. What the heck? Oh my god. Deep, thank you. What is this? What on earth? It's like an evil Groot. Soul Taker. That's new. Holy no, hell. I did a full like over there. Get frozen again. <laughs> oh my god, this guy has literally done nothing. Absolutely nothing against me. Holy hell, chat. Enough. <laughs> Shiva's so good. You just freeze them. Like, it's absolutely insane when you time it right. Wait, what? I, I thought we were doing like two rooms, then we'd continue. What's going on? Oh my god, this is, this is near Automata. Does anyone else get the same vibe? Do y'all remember the, when the lights turn off in Nier Automata? Yo. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh! You're a fast one. <laughs> bye bye. That's it. Twenty seconds. Got it. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. That's so sick. Is it gonna come back together? No. No way. Oh, uh, for some reason I thought this was Odin. That's not Odin, okay. One of these. Okay, I know. Oh, oh, the blocks are crazy right now, chat. Oh. That's it. That's it, baby. That's it. Huge damage incoming. <laughs> Chad, I didn't even realize it's elf. Some nice prayers there. Thank you. It's raining. Up top? Oh, what an amazing like transition. I love that. It starts raining. It's gonna be a rainy rooftop. Dude, we're so badass. We just destroyed everything. Just fought an apple of Eden and then a a big knight. Whoa.
What? A lot of zombies on the ground. Why? The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. For these worthless creatures. Is that his like throne? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep, they roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. <laughs> Yo, he's kind of spitting, though. <laughs> Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very <laughs> moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall. Not as a puppet, but as a man. <laughs> Which are you? <laughs> <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, Man lost sight of the gift's true meaning, stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens, and they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open, and so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. Oh my. Dude, look at that scene. Like, what? What madness is this? My worth proven, the Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. That's a cool you story, are the key, man. Mythos. And with this humble offering, shall I prove my faith once more. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. He's Tell such... Me, how is that living? He's such a puppet. Even Torgal agrees. What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but... God, what a life, life is about always having a choice. 
Take that away, and we might as well be dead. Oh. <laughs> Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of your will. Oh. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. But the weakness of yours. Damn. Show the helmet. Yeah, baby. That's so sick. That's so sick. Oh my god. If you oh my your will the stronger, prove it. Oh my what god, chat, here we go. End, you <laughs> shall know the truth. By his days, you shall know the truth. Dude, he's like teleporting around! Dude, the colors right now with like the blue and like red and stuff, and then my ice as well. So sick. Oh, I don't know how I dodged that. Oh, get frozen! Get frozen, Barnabas! Sit down, son! Sit down! Let's go! As you say, frozen, yes, dummy. Fight like, fight like a man. I am a man. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh! He, he swings so fast. He blocks? He blocks! Dude, I'm too good, Barnabas. I don't know what you got going on. Oh my god. Yeah, I know what you're doing. I know. <laughs> Chad! Chad! Get Perry! He chose you to serve as his vessel. And you cling to this foolish notion of hope when there is none. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's honestly all I would say as well. I feel that. I feel that. Oh my good lord. Desperate, are we? What is about to happen? Dude, what? Yo! <laughs> oh my god. Finally, we can begin. Yeah! How is this fight gonna happen? Oh, good God. <laughs> Let's go, Chad. Oh my God. Dude, dude. Oh my God. Almost. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you have been shown the path. Now you must follow it. Free yourself, Mythos. You will not defeat me otherwise. Oh, we're going back to our like. That's so interesting. We're going back to like Perhaps that's kind of cool. What? What? This is pretty good. Whoa! Whoa! 
So sick! He's blocking me! He's blocking me, bro! Oh! Oh! Oh my god, I hit him with Mesmerize. your back on the truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your God believes. Oh my God. Torgal. Thank God for Torgal. Damn it. Oh my God. This game. Oh my god. I remember that scene from the trailer. <laughs> what? We're getting bullied. We're getting absolutely bullied. What are you waiting for? Men know nothing of strength. What do you will? That's a very long sword. <laughs> Joshua? Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, what? This is like that Sonic Frontiers moment, dude! See ya. Could it be you have made a weapon of your weakness? <laughs> my apologies. Oh my god. You are not the fool I took you for. And so it ends. No. Hey yo. What? <laughs> Don't tell me you are tired, Mythos! Your stubborn defiance has stirred my long becalmed heart! Why are you filling it with a joy that I have not known for generations? I had thought the tantalizing kiss of self-indulgence a dream forever out of reach. And now that its sweet ruin courses through my veins, I shall not be quick to relinquish Jesus! Show me your work, Mythos, that I might revel in it! Oh! Press the attack? What do you mean press the attack? What do you mean? What do you mean press the attack? What? Yeah. 
Well, I I don't have enough. Oh my god! Oh my god! Um. Um. I. Uh oh. Uh oh. Chat. Dude, the music! Let's go! No way! I did it that time! Chad, I did it! You the music, dude! What? It's so like classic Final Fantasy vibes. There we go. Suffered the disappointment of lesser rivals. No, no, no. Oh, 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 Dude, he's going insane, chat. He's absolutely going bonkers. What? You will never know with this foul. Chat, what? 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 It's a raid boss! Can I, can I block this? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh! My crown ethos. Oh! But none could wrest it from my head. I try. Dude, that's so freaking cool, man. Oh but my god. god. Have you the strength? Have you the will? Woohoo! No rapture, nope. I am yours, Mythos. Play me as oh, he has two of them. He's becoming Kirito. What the hell is happening? Oh my god. Oh. Can I can I parry that? No way. <laughs> no way, bro! No way, dude! No way, chat! No way, there's no way! <laughs> no way! Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Well, <laughs> the day is at the end. Chat went. <laughs> I like quadruple and jump. We both know the truth. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Dude, you literally did nothing. Your will? No. It was his. Clive Rossfield. Oh my God. Is that? Oh my God. You get thrown into oblivion? No. 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 No, he can't be gone like that. No. 
No. No. No. No. No. That that seemed that seemed too easy. No. Chat. No. I just pushed him off. I, I cut him with the sword, but like you didn't see any blood. That fight was so cool. Like, oh my god. It it, it didn't have like the what what's what's the what's the vibe? Like it didn't have the the like like the Bahamut fight had like an energy to it where I was like screaming and it wasn't like that. It was more like we are rivals and we're just going to let it out right now. Like we're just going to fight and it's kind of like a like Soulsy type fight. It was really cool though. I really liked it. Like oh my god. Like I I I really enjoy that. I you guys know me. I told you one one of my favorite like when I play like a Souls game or any game like this I am a sucker for sword versus sword. You're both dodging. You both like, I love that he can parry and he can also block and he can also do those things. Like I love when you like find a rival. It's like the, um, it's like in bloodborne when you fight, uh, what's her name chat. You guys will know it's not Mary. Is it, um, or it's lady something. Um, do you know who I'm talking about in bloodborne? It's in the DLC. I think, uh, lady Maria. Yes. It's that vibe. It's that vibe. It's like Melania a little bit and, and Elden Ring as well. It's just like, this is someone who kind of meets your match like with sword combat, which I love. I love stuff like that. So freaking cool. I don't think he's dead though. That seemed like falling off and not nothing gory. Oh yeah, he's still. <laughs> Wait, I thought he fell off the tower. He didn't fall off the, I guess we were on the other part. Wait, what? I guess we were on the top. <laughs> Perhaps there is strength in will. Would that I had not relinquished my own. <laughs> You've lost. Give it up. You relinquished nothing. What was it? If not will that made you strive for a new world, strive to win your master's approval. I... You were shown a fantasy, and you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world but the one we live in. That world, that world is worth saving, even if it means killing a god. <laughs> oh, stop it. Bold words. From one who has served the Lord so well. This is pointless. Uh, but I almost forgot. <laughs> I promised that I would make you presentable. No Did I not? Way. No way. No way. Barnabas has invaded your world. Barnabas has invaded. Anybody else thought the same thing? We shall fulfill our destinies. Just as the Lord's Malu crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. Oh god. Wait.
Did he just give us his power? Oh my god, look at him. At long last, salvation. I'm coming home. Dude, what just happened? What just happened? Will. Will. That which separates humans from animals is, and is given shape by consciousness. This is a mystery of the realm. A sense of self and a freedom of thought. Even when one is deprived of other freedoms, it is one's will that drives the pursuit of true liberty. To ultimate, however, human will is a sickness that prevents them from taking their proper divine form. That of the Akashic who blindly serve his own purposes. To this end, he casts primogenesis to transform much humanity, humanity into his soulless servants. Dude, what? Also, how how weirdly ironic is it that the final scene of Barnabas, the kingdom literally ruling over Ash, like the the like the the whole realm of Ash turns into Ash at the very end. Like, isn't that weird? Like, definitely intentional, right? Gotta be. Like he just turns into dust. All right, I'll, I'll let go. Me, how does it feel? Show yourself. Face me. How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To oh, gorge God. yourself on their being? Oh God. To edge step by trembling step, ever closer to the divine. With. Or without a will, you are still but a vessel, our vessel. Behold, how your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. <laughs> oh, it's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There all shall end and begin again. Damn. He looks even like darker red than before, too. Couldn't resist. Raw. <laughs> He's just so mad at the world. He, he, it's like he keeps on getting the power without really even wanting to. You know, he was he was coming there to end Barnabas, not he just wanted to kill Barnabas, not not take his power. And now he's like the perfect vessel, I guess. Ah, uh, vessel complete. Yeah, <laughs> I just said that. Run! Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, nothing happened, Byron. Dude, what a scene. Filling his destiny by trying to avoid it. Yeah, true. Why the hell is my city going with a captain? He's just drinking some. Of them. <laughs> oh, Since when was Eugen Hamel one to hide when there was a fight to be had? Since they stripped me of my rank and banished me from the battlefield. Now I'm stuck fighting the backsides of this one while the city burns and my wife tells off the man half my age. <laughs> and then you turn up. What the hell are you doing here anyway? <laughs> What 
Not indeed. <clears throat> the enemy numbers 200,000 or more counting the orders. There are simply not enough soldiers counting in the capital to repel an army of that size. Then, one of the central keep, held by a contingent of soldiers and bearers from the surrounding forest. They are the sole reason it still stands. And all it took was an army on their doorstep to bring them together. The prospect of death does put things into perspective. <laughs> yeah, perspective. <laughs> Perhaps it's what we've lacked all along. Very true. Dude. Come on, Byron, please live. Please. Please, Byron, please. I need you to lend me some of your best men. Preferably all of them. My best men! Does it look like I'm anymore? I admit this might not be the most convenient time, but my best is in trouble. And I've made. I've already promised him your help. Your nephew, the outlaw. <laughs> my soldiers have better things to do than die for nothing. Then you and he are of the same mind. <laughs> <laughs> I fight for the opposite. He fights for a world in which he shouldn't have to live and die for nothing. Yes. And he fights today to give us all the chance of a better tomorrow. Be that as it may, a handful of men cannot stand against the kingdom. <laughs> Then mayhap they are the wrong men. <gasps> well, I'll be damned. Our numbers are few, but I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. Oh my you, god. You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, your radiance. No way, chat. No way. And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye, but I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needing them Gather the them bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. Oh, it's Terence again. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life. And I always pay my debts. Medicine, girl. You are to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. And I must earn it by my hand, and my hand alone. Know that I do not ask this lightly. And know that I will do it. Farewell, Terence. So sad, man. So well acted. So well acted.
alive. Thank fuck. You all right? I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. The king is dead. Oh, they're... they're all... <sighs> they are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. Safe. <laughs> She's so realistic. Like, I feel so bad. Imagine, like, you're literally, like, pregnant during all this. I feel so bad for her. Gav, we need to talk. Like, I feel like they definitely could have written that scene like, oh, I'm happy that you did all that. But instead, they actually show her, like, still crying and stuff. Like, it's just very real. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise, nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. Thanks, Gav. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lord. <laughs> the last survivor. <laughs> Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned. Long turned. Will be here by choice. That's wild. All to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Uh, he didn't consider it killing or a mercy of sorts. A way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind and ultimately use that. As he uses us. But why us? What are we? What are we? We are dominant. That is our fate. That doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. Wow. Barnabas said something else. That the Mother Crystals were Ultimas. Ultimas? Are you certain? We know that the Mother Crystals have been bleeding the land of Ether. And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the Blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did you find of the Stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, 
I believed it to be you. And you alone. Yet, it is not merely a freed that he desires, but a freed and phoenix both. Oh my that god. which we became in the skies over Twinside. Oh my god. Only when the twin flames are joined shall his vessel be complete. I was right, chat. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Yeah, like why? Unless there is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Why? Or without the mother crystals. But if we destroy them all, we will stop not only the blight, but Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then. Only this time, we face him together. <laughs> well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. Oh my god, I love them. Dude, I am so glad that I didn't have it like spoiled for me that Joshua like was alive in this game. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm so freaking glad. Like the idea like with all the trailers and like all like the the prologue that we played and everything before launch. Like the idea that like we're sitting here in the end and Joshua's with us and it's actually about them both. Their twin flames combined. Like that's so cool. So freaking cool. It also makes sense why like the logo for Final Fantasy 16 is like if if we, and Phoenix both and the like the was it the legendary edition of the game or whatever is that statue as well makes so much sense chat I hate to do this to you guys but that is probably where we're going to end it for tonight because I am exhausted and I have work in the morning I also, I also think that uh, I might wait to do the look at the ability for next stream. I think it'd be more fun because I want to like I have like I'm like running out of energy, and if I start the next stream and we like go to the training room at the very start and I like just see how it all works, that will have me really excited as well for the start of the next stream. Because I'll be like, okay, I have like all these new abilities to look forward to. <laughs> you know. I I just want to say, like, I think I think that entire set piece was what this game needed to do. Like, it's really hard to rank and look at like, okay, with a Titan fight, a Bahamut fight, an Oven fight. I think I said it earlier. I don't think anything's gonna top Bahamut. Maybe the ending. But I didn't think anything from, like, Bahamut to ending, like, between, would top whatever the hell I experienced in the Bahama fight. And I still stand by that. I think the Bahamut fight is still the best part of the game, like, 100%. But I think that's fine. I, I think it's a very pivotal moment. It's the first time that Clive and Joshua become their true form or whatever as well. Like, there's a lot going on story-wise in that moment. A lot of revelations, lots of things happen. And I think you needed this Odin arc to be a little bit more grounded, a little bit more like, okay, let's not do something. Like if it was bombastic as hell where you're like flying through the sky like crazy, like, you know, like, you know what I mean? And plus you already fought him a little bit on the boat set piece. So I actually really like that it was more of a just toe to toe we're going to trip you out and make you think it's about to go to like a crazy, crazy, big, big, big battle, like in the sky or something. But instead, you guys keep going back to your like 
knight forms and you're just fighting sword to sword and it's sick all the effects are awesome the music is very final fantasy again it's not like crazy oh my god what is the music that's playing right now and i'm like losing my mind but it's like this is awesome it's still like a really really awesome awesome experience um and yeah like i i think that definitely a peak moment but i also like that it felt a little bit more a little bit more calm in some ways like there's rain and you know, it's like rain, it's ashy, it's like weird, you know? Like, it, it's very different um, than the, some of the other fights in the game. And I, I really like that. I also like that you could parry so much of his attacks. That was sick. Dude, he was like curling up in a ball or like doing this weird like wheel thing. And I was able to parry that. like <laughs> Or block it, whatever the block parry is called. But like, that was crazy. That was really, really fun. Thank you guys so much. And, and I, I really, really hope to see you guys there this weekend. Uh, it's going to be an absolute blast. Hope you've been enjoying the playthrough. Hope you just enjoyed all of it. So much freaking content. I know. It's absolutely insane. Um, the Final Fantasy 16. So many VODs. So many streams. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And have a great Friday. If you have school, work, or whatever, just hope it goes well. Um, get some rest, everybody. Thanks for staying out with me. And that's going to be it.